Good morning, Father Jeff Henry here at St. Michael Catholic Community for Friday, 11 December, and I'd like to share something with you for 240 seconds from today's Gospel for Mass. Jesus uses this image of children in the marketplace playing. Listen to what he says. To what shall I compare this generation? It is like children who sit in the marketplaces and call to one another, we played the flute for you, but you will not dance. We sang a dirge for you, but you did not mourn. And he says, for John came neither eating nor drinking, and they said he is possessed by a demon. The son of man came eating and drinking, and they said, look, he is a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. In Christianity, I've noticed, noticed this, there's almost often two approaches to faith. One is the ascetical tradition, and that's uh, privation, not eating a lot of uh, sweets during Lent, or fasting, of course, almsgiving, vigils, prayers, denying oneself. I've known people who, uh, who take cold showers in order to sort of beat down their, their physical lives in order to be focused on the spiritual. What happens with those a lot of times is if they're not done properly, what occurs is that they become an end in themselves. And the same thing can happen with celebrations. Sometimes in the church, another group that you could say is focused on the celebrations, the, 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 the joy and the excitement of our faith. But what we see with that a lot of times is that we have to keep going, jumping. You ever heard the term jumping the shark? We keep having to go higher and higher and higher to create more and more elaborate opportunities for celebration because the old celebrations just don't cut it anymore. We always feel like we have to do more and more to get people's attention. So what's the answer to this? I think about Ecclesiastes. For everything, there is a time and a season under heaven. There are times that the church year prescribes ascetical practices, such as during Lent, prayer and fasting, Ash Wednesday, things of that nature. Uh, some of us, such as myself, we put ourselves on perpetual fasts, not because we think it's more that we become more spiritual than other people. It's just what's best for us in our faith, the way that we express it. Other people look and find great strength from the celebratory events, the things that mark out times of rejoicing and bringing us close to the Lord. But we do both. Who would ever want to skip out on Easter? Who would ever want to not put an ash cross on our forehead for Ash Wednesday. They're both necessary, and both of those are a benefit. In fact, what's interesting is Jesus uses this story, but he himself endured privation, such as when he was in the desert for 40 days. He spent vigils at night praying, and yet at other times he was in uh, at his friend Lazarus's house. So I guess what I would encourage you to do, and myself as well, is to be open to both the celebration and the ascetical. Even Mother Teresa, every once in a while, had a banquet. Let's have a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we do thank you that you come to us both through the ascetical privation and also through celebration. May we always be attuned to what you're trying to show us any time, any season. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. I hope that you have a great day, and we'll be talking to you soon.